10 Cool Facts About Betta Fish Betta fish, also known as Siamese fighting fish, are among the most popular home aquarium pets, second only to goldfish. The betta are native to the Mekong River Basin in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia, but they are most commonly found in Thailand's Khao Phraya River. In fact, the Siamese fighting fish was named as Thailand's national aquatic animal in early 2019. The fish can be found in rice paddas, drainage ditches, floodplains, and in pretty much any other standing water within their native region. In these habitats, they are exposed to a lot of storm flooding and droughts. With the wide variety of stunning betta colors and shapes to choose from, it's no wonder so many aquarists are betta fans. Keep watching through to learn 10 surprising facts that betta neophytes and even some experienced betta owners might not know. Number 1. Betta is not the name of one fish species, but more than 70. Scientifically speaking, betta is the name of a genus that encompasses dozens of different fish species. The most common of these, and the species most people almost always mean when they say betta, is betta splendens, aka the Siamese fighting fish. Number 2. Fighting fish is no misnomer. Bettas are called fighting fish for a reason. They are highly territorial and males are especially prone to aggression. They cannot be housed together or they simply attack one another relentlessly, which usually results in injury or death to one or both of them. Female bettas, in contrast, can be housed in small sororities of 5 to 10 fish. They will live quite happily together provided they have enough space. But, if they are in too small a tank, even females will become territorial and attack. Males also shouldn't be housed alongside females, except on a temporary basis for breeding, otherwise they are likely to harass the females. Even during breeding, care should be taken to ensure that the female is safe. Number 3. Bettas are carnivores. Bettas eat meat. Those kept as pets are typically fed freeze-dried bloodworms that are available at any pet store. In the wild, bettas feast on bloodworms, shrimp, and insects like crickets, flies, or even grasshoppers. Number 4. Bettas have different tail shapes. Bettas come in as wide a variety of shapes and colors. Their tails, in particular, can be found in endless styles. A partial list of betta splendens tail shapes includes comb, crown, Delta, double, feather, half moon, half sun, placat, rose, round, spade, and veil. Most of these types have their own subtypes, and they are often combined into hybrid shapes. Number 5. Colorful bettas are the results of selective breeding. Bettas are popular because of the enormous variety of attractive colors and shapes in which they are found, but they don't exist that way naturally. Wild collected betta splendens are colored dull brown and green with red on their fins, and their fins are much smaller and more understated. Their natural appearance isn't without its charm, but it doesn't come close to the resplendence of bettas that hobbyists breed as pets. These breeders create bolder and brighter betta colors, patterns and shapes all the time. Number 6. There is strong sexual dimorphism in bettas. Male bettas are typically larger than females and display brighter colors with more ornate finish. As a result, the vast majority of bettas kept as pets are male. The smaller, less visually striking females are widely available in pet stores, but those who purchase. Number 7. Bettas can breathe air and survive outside of water. Bettas are anabantoids, acolabyrinth fish. Anabantoids possess a special organ that allows them to breathe air. For these fish, this is necessary for survival in habitats that often become too polluted or otherwise oxygen poor to survive with normal underwater breathing alone. As a result, bettas are able to survive outside of water for several hours at a time, although they must remain moist. It should go without saying that those who own pet bettas should not test this ability. Number 8. Bettas build bubble nests. New betta owners are often puzzled to find their new pets creating a layer of tiny bubbles on the surface of the tank's water. This is called a bubble nest, and the behavior is not only normal, but an indication of a happy and healthy betta. In the wild, bettas create bubble nests for mating purposes, and subsequently to protect eggs and newly hatched bettas. Still, the behavior is instinctive, so a betta creates bubble nests even in home tanks without a mate present. Number 9. Male bettas take charge of caring for their offspring. When it's time to breed, male bettas build a bubble nest at the water's surface. When the female releases her eggs, the male releases his milt and fertilization occurs externally. The male then gathers the fertilized eggs and will spit them into the nest. But that's just the beginning of the male's job. He will then watch over the nest, repairing it as needed. He retrieves any eggs that sink away from the nest and protects all the eggs from predators until they hatch. He will even chase away the female as she tends to eat the eggs after spawning to replenish her energy. The fry hatch after just 24 to 36 hours and they remain in the nest for a few days, still under the male betta's protection. They live off of a yolk sac for these first few days but, once this is fully absorbed, they are ready to venture out into the world. Number 10. Bettas are intelligent enough to be trained. Bettas are intelligent fish. They can learn to recognize their owners. Some people even have success training their bettas to perform simple tricks, like following their fingers around a bowl, swimming through hoops or pushing a ball into a goal. While betta fish make a great addition to any aquarium.
They are beautiful, colorful, and fascinating to watch. Their ability to recognize faces makes them the perfect companion for many fish keepers. But, as with any fish, you must be prepared to meet its needs and provide the proper level of care. If that's a commitment you're ready for, these feisty little fighting fish could be the perfect pet for you. Thank you for watching. If you like animal facts videos, do subscribe our channel Pets and Us.